Hey guys, I'm Rachel. So today I'm going to be doing my go-to easy, simple glam makeup look for you guys. This is a look I reach for when I don't have time and I'm in a rush, but I still want to look like I put in that work to get my, my makeup done. So this is going to be sort of like um, a get ready because I am leaving the house in a while. So let me pin this hair out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to start with my base as usual. For me, my base is always, always the most important part of my makeup. And that's why I do my base first. And if I got time for shadows, then I do my shadows. I'm going to spray some of this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Primer all over my face. And then I'm going to go in with my um, Prime and Blur Colourpop All-Star Primer. This is my first time using this but i love wet and wild products <laughs> i think they do so good for an affordable brand so let's see how this works now, it did take a while to dry down and it does feel a bit tacky i like that now i'm gonna prime my face with the colourpop all-star primer of course, I'm talking and doing this, so it's gonna take me a little while, but when I'm doing this on my own, like I'm in a rush, this will take me 15 minutes, 20 minutes to get done. So here we have it, my face is primed, and doesn't matter how much of a rush I'm in, primer is part of my routine, I will always be using a primer. So I'm gonna mix my Elle Girl Pro Matte and my Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus foundations. I love these foundations a lot as well. This one is too dark and I feel like the wet and wild one is a bit too red so I'm just gonna mix them together as usual. So this is one layer of the foundation and I do want a little more coverage on my forehead and I'm just gonna add another layer just to build the coverage up but um, if you want uh, something a little lighter then this could be fine for someone who wants a lighter coverage and I always recommend that you work in layers when doing whatever it is you're doing you take your time and you build stuff up because it would be much easier to manage when you're building rather than just doing a lot and you're just left with a cake face Now that I'm pleased with the coverage, I'm going to conceal. I'm going to use my, um, I'm using a Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Look at this, it's almost gone. And I'm going to apply this in the usual areas where I highlight. While this gets tacky, because I like my concealer to sit on my face for a couple of minutes, I feel like it blends nicer and, um, you get more coverage with using less product when it sits and gets tacky this technique does not work well with all concealers if your concealer dries fast then i wouldn't recommend you do that but you would know which concealers to do that with so while that happens i'm gonna quickly fill in my brows with my morphe 25b palette and be right back bam brows are partially done so i'm gonna blend the center of my face with this brush you know the drill and i'm gonna do the rest of my face with my sponge Now, since I'm not using any shadows today, like I said, my priority is my base. Um, I'm going to make sure my lids are set really well. I want to make my lids look basically blank. So I'm going to apply some concealer on that. And I'm also going to focus some of it on my brows as well, because this is one time when I want my brows to be very defined. Now before I set um, my concealer, I'm just going to take that brush I applied my foundation with and go over the edges of the concealer to make sure that everything is seamless. Now using my JCAT banana powder, I have it in another packaging because I hate the packaging for the JCAT powder. 
I am going to set that in place but what I'm going to do is tap my sponge in the powder and sort of tap the excess off in the cover and press that into my skin Now that I've pressed that into my skin, I'm taking that powder and I'm just going to bake the areas where I get extremely oily. This is the sides of my nose. This area. And I'm also going to apply this on my chin to bake because I get oily in these areas. I'm using the NYX Hydrators Powder Foundation and a puff and I'm going to set the rest of my face that I did not use that banana powder on. I'm gonna add some color back to my face. I'm using my favorite <laughs> color, um, CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer and I'm using a very fluffy brush because I wanna diffuse the color more. Then I'm using that same bronzer with a smaller brush, a brush that's uh, denser um because i want to this is gonna define my jawline even more the types of brushes you use uh, plays a very big role in the outcome of your products so the fluffier brush i use diffused it even more and made it more seamless but this because it has i'm using the same thing but with because the brush is smaller and denser it's gonna pack it on even more and make it more intense so that's what i'm doing And I'm also just concentrating it really in my jawline. Now I'm just gonna neaten and sharpen that uh, contour area. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I made these broccoli bites. Um, Doing carbs, delicious. And they're sitting next to me and smelling so good, so why not? Mmm, it's so good. <laughs> so I'm gonna dust the bake off now. Now I'm going to add some blush and I'm using my Flower Beauty Blush in Sweet Pea. I actually think I want a little more color on my cheeks so I'm going in with my e.l.f. blush quad and I'm going to use this uh, deeper color right here. I'm also going to apply a little bit of this blush just to the corners of my temples because I'm not wearing any shadows and I like the effect of that. I'm done being a clown. I'm gonna set my face with my Morphe setting spray. My makeup fixer. Fixer upper. <laughs> my Morphe gel liner in jet. And it's a cream and it, you know, cream dries off sometimes. So I'm gonna add some of this Inglot Duraline drop into it. Just one drop does the trick that just fix all your cream products invest in one it really does work so it's just gonna make the product uh creamier for me again cream for me again and i'm gonna do a wing using my morphe um liner brush in m250-1 I'm also gonna apply some of that in my like tight line in my lashes and also in my waterline. Oh, 
Okay, so now my wings are done. I would advise that you set your bottom waterline with a black a shadow. I just do not have one next to me and I am too lazy. Too lazy to go get one. So I probably would do it off camera, but I thought I should mention that. It would just uh, make the cream last longer. So now I'm just going to apply some of my favorite Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara. This one. There's hardly ever a time I do my mascara and it doesn't get everywhere, but whenever that happens to you, like if you can see, it's there, it's here, it's everywhere. So um, if that happens to you, just leave it for a minute or so to get to dry off. Uh, buff it off with a brush or Q-tip. I have my Q-tip way in. I'm not you doing any shadows. I am going to wear lashes. It's just gonna... The lashes is what's gonna make you look like you did a lot to the look. It needs lashes. Of course, if you don't like lashes, you don't have to wear it. You can just double up on your mascara, but I want to wear lashes. And I'm using these lashes that my sister bought, <laughs> that I stole. <laughs> she bought them off AliExpress. They're sort of wispy and just a lot. But um, let me, I don't, I don't know how to explain them, I'm sorry. but I like them and I stole them and I'm going to use them today. So here we go. My sister shops off AliExpress so much that I decided to try it and I bought some stuff and I was like, I was pleased with it. So I am actually going to order some wigs and some stuff from AliExpress and some lashes as well. Cause I never really ordered anything from them and the delivery wasn't bad, you know? Um, yep. I just thought I'd plug that in there. Okay. Okay, so I certainly would not recommend these lashes for beginners because uh, they're tricky as fuck. Hmm. But they look nice. <laughs> so the lashes are on there. They're. I love them. They're a bit tricky. The band is a bit tricky, but it it doesn't feel heavy or uncomfortable on my eyes. Usually, when you have lashes that that are that fluffy they can feel very heavy like you actually know that you're wearing lashes but these ones feel pretty pretty well they feel pretty good you just gotta spend a little time with the band aliexpress here i come i'm gonna be using two highlights as usual because i want it to pop and i'm using my milani high strobe light in sun glow and i'm gonna top that off and i'm gonna top that off with my wet and wild hustle and glow loose pigment that's my new love i gave color pop a break I gave my Sheila one a break because I'm loving this one so much and it's so big. It's less than $8 and this is going to last you a very, very, a very long time. So that's what we're doing. And I'm mostly sort of placing it. I'm not blending it out too much as yet. But I try. now that i have that i'm going in with just what's on the cover because usually these uh, loose pigments are very 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 pigmented and this one is and i'm damping my brush with my morphe spray and i'm going over this highlight with the loose one as a topper I'm also going to apply that same pigment in the inner corners of my eyes. Now that I'm a glowing like a disco ball, I am going to set my face with my Morphe setting spray one more time. Before it dries down, I'm taking my beauty sponge and I'm pressing the highlight into my skin. It's the reason why I just placed it and didn't really blend it out too much. This is just going to melt everything into my skin and I'll just look like and glowing from within you know, this step also helps to uh, pick up any excess powder and any cakiness you might be experiencing on your skin if you went in with way too much powder this is a mustache whenever i'm doing my go-to glam lip i just love reaching for a red lip it's either red or nude you probably already know that and sometimes it depends on the mood that i mean i probably might use sort of an in-between color but i just think that red sets the tone 
you just do what is most comfortable for you if you're a dark girl you want to wear dark lips you whatever i'm going for a red and i'm using my sephora always red liquid lip Because I do have a oilier T-zone, I like going in with a spray that's more uh, mattifying in my T-zone. I know that's an extra step I do for looks like these. And I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm just going to apply this just to the center of my face. So this really does lock your makeup in place. And I'm going to add just a little dew to the sides of my face. Something dew here because the side of my face is more normal dry. this is just gonna make your highlight pop even more and it's perfect now if you don't have my skin type you don't have to do that that's just an extra step i do a lot of times sometimes i do not show it on camera but i kind of almost always do the dewy on the side because my face is so normal dry and now it's cooler and it's drier it's more dehydrated so there's also a final step i do when i'm doing those sort of looks as well um I like going in with a translucent mattifying powder um, and I'm going to use the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Waterproof Powder. Uh, Remmel Stay Matte. Uh, Remmel makes a good one. The Stay Matte one, mine broke. The packaging suck and I just never repurchased it. But it's a very good powder for $5. So I'm just applying a little bit of this on my brush, tapping off the excess. And I'm just going to press it in where I get oily the sides of my nose right here my nose itself my nose is extremely oily and for some reason the uh, foundation just seems to disappear on my chin i don't know where it goes and that's the completed look my go-to simple quick easy glam like I said, I do this in 15 to 20 minutes. When I'm in a rush, this is just the look I will go for. I prefer my base. Always, it's always my base. Once my base is fine, I'm good. <laughs> and eyeshadows, if you're a makeup artist or someone who loves makeup, you know eyeshadows can be very, very time consuming. But it doesn't mean that you need eyeshadows to have a look like this or to look glamorous. So eyeshadows will always be the last thing I do. Hence the reason why I do my makeup in the... In the um, I use the makeup routine that I do. I always do my base and if I have the time, I do my eyes. You understand what I'm saying? So this is the completed look, my go-to quick, easy, quick slay uh, look. And um, let's give you a close-up. And that's it. My skin is glowing. My my base is good. Everything is just, is just very, my favorite word effortless looking you look like you did not put in a lot of work in your look if you're new here hi my name is rachel welcome to the family if you haven't already and you're looking please subscribe hit the bell so that you do not miss my uploads i upload every wednesday and sunday you can also follow me on all my social media shades of Charles and Charles editions everything i use will always be in the description box so be sure to check that out like i'm also a makeup artist and a working nail technician out here in brooklyn so all my links of how to book me and everything will be in the description box thank you so much for looking and i'll see you in my next tutorial on wednesday bye